seven, eight, ten, ten, two, three, four, five, six. Timing, the most essential element of dance, has been anything but certain in this era of COVID-19. Yet this unsettling reality has laid fertile ground for the creative talents of the Sydney Dance Company to find new meaning and purpose with a work that encapsulates this so profoundly, impermanence. We were about to open last year in March and three days before we were in the theatre, technical rehearsals and a work called Impermanence never happens. So it was heartbreaking. And then things that we thought were permanent, like traveling, moving freely around, having connection with your friend and family, and you can't. And then that beautiful thing of human touch, being able to hug someone, being able to kiss someone, all of that was taken away from us. Initially inspired by the fire that destroyed the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, followed by the black summer bushfires in Australia, impermanence grew from being part of a triple bill to becoming a full-length work. That out of this situation, we were gonna find the strength and the reasons to make it longer. And it was a work that was already really emotionally charged and very poignant, but it was gonna be more so. Nothing, nothing is permanent. And that became really clear. I think for everyone at the same time in the world. Partnering with composer Bryce Dessner and the Australian String Quartet, this is a work that involves collaboration at its heart and with every step taken on stage. So giving the dancers almost the rules of what this section is going to be and how we're going to approach it and then each individual making decisions within the group because I said if I have to make every decision we're going to be here forever and we can't be and they're incredible. Even now the delicate balance involved in staging live performance is proving a stretch for the most agile of artists. It's been a little bit nerve-wracking in the last month because I think last week we didn't know if we could get the Australian String Quartet to Sydney but now that uh, the borders are open <laughs> between the states, we are so happy that they will be here with us. Of course, we were thinking of quarantine and every possible you know, solution, which is the new way of living really with COVID, is how to find solutions to what's in front of you. And every day changes and every week changes. But I can say that they've got their flights booked and the borders are open and they will be here on stage with us every night. And so on with the show while the moment lasts. The fact that we can come together and bring the world to life in a theatre and have that very beautiful, unique exchange that you have in live performance, I feel so grateful. We've missed the audience and I think that they've missed us. So I can't wait for opening night.